What's up guys, this is Sean Tan and today we are in Sunway Citrine, Iskandar. We are now in Sunway Citrine where it consists of three different parts which is Sunway Citrine Hub, Citrine Residence and the offices. So the residence is just right there and they are handing over the keys now for the investors which they bought three years ago offices is ready and it was sold out three years back and now the mall is upcoming and we will check out see how's the tenants like mainly today we will talk about how in the first place when i was still in the team we strategize on how to build a township and most of them i would say is not communicated and investors should really know that how and the efforts of the team since I'm not there anymore. Also, I will talk about if you, are, if you decide to actually invest in a mixed development like this, what are the things that you really need to check for? So we are now in the second floor and just now we have went through first floor to see all the retails which is like Jaya Grocer. So in retail, it's very important to get the program right which is the retail mix and there's this thing called anchor tenant as non-anchor tenants like Jaya, they, have, they are very good and they have their very own fans to follow so every uh, Every space would actually welcome them into their space and every retail so like Mr. DIY behind it also has their own role to play in the thing so the success of the malls is actually very highly dependent on the retail mix itself so do you have uh, bookstores do you have DIY shop do you have grocers especially grocers and that's why that's the convenience that mixed development provide where you have imagine if you stay up there work here and shop downstairs it's kind of cool and it's really convenient so you don't really have to travel anymore but it would suck if your boss stays with you lah hmm something i really want to mention is when you choose to invest in mixed developments like this please ask who owns the retail units this is utmost important because it really determines the success of the project. The old mistake that developers make is to actually sell out the retail and it's owned by individual uh, owners. And for example, let's say if today like for example here, if it's in individual owners and you have no control over the tenant mix. On a side note, that is the main reason why like old projects like Summit uh, Berjaya Times Square, Subang, uh, Sungai Wang projects like this are all individual owned that's why even the management has no say and no control over the tenant mix and it's very dangerous imagine if you were to have a budget to actually do marketing or conclude the branding for a particular new mall or to do rebranding you need to have like 300 over owners to agree upon it it would be a nightmare and you become very slow and then your property will lose or drop price low. here is the transition from the nature to the organic design to the cafes as well translated into the facade of the building this is what we call architecture guys ha 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 
throughout the entire designing of this master plan, those days when I was still around the team, the challenge was how to bring people into this deserted location. So humans will always require infrastructure and then program and then build community and that has always been the strength of Sunway itself. So what we do, what we, what we did is a grammar block. What we did is actually to first build a mixed development which can actually sustain itself first. Your office, your mall and your residence all together in one piece by independent for the first two to three years. Then next we actually built a school, an international school next to this to actually bring people in. And that's a reason to, for people to stay itself. Then uh, we also have the, to partnership with the local the local transportation which is the bus with a smiling face I can't tell what is it you guys most probably can figure out this actually allows people that stays here in this block to actually travel to Singapore second link straight away and it was very inconvenient to go to the highway and to the custom Sunway has this ability where they even build their own highway that's very mind blowing. So, and then, we, after this, after the major success of the the office itself, which we sold out in the first phase itself, then we move on to landed properties. Then we move on to landed shop offices. Then we move on to townhouses. And then we are thinking of what's next. So it should be a major mall, or it should be a sports complex, or it should be. A universities and so on and so forth so this entire 1800 acres is a master plan and that's the main cost that what you guys are investing for you should always choose a developer that you would actually like if you put your money here for the next 10 years they will actually take care of your investment for you that's why their prices are always slightly higher as my advice to younger investors right if you have no clue or whatsoever just go with brands it's like if i don't know what about shoes right i will just get the major brands lah. of course it will cost higher but choose value over brand so in this kind of thing there's a lot of value but you gotta know what is it because many come to me like sunway apartment very expensive lah, but then it's still the same only of course what you expect an apartment is an apartment of four walls and windows and doors with toilet no? and kitchen but the main thing is the program and the surrounding as we always sell location 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 this is the main thing that actually drives a township and they are very good at it so that's all for this episode if you really like this video like it share it or even subscribe for more and i will see you next time